Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bryce. So nice to have you here with me today. Thank you for joining me. So, uh, I'm just gonna get like right into it. Usually I do some long introduction, but you know, we are gonna focus on the makeup today, okay? So, um, in today's video, we are going to be doing a full face of glam and uh, the palette that uh, I will be using for my eyeshadow is um, new to me. I just got this palette in the mail a couple days ago and um, I'm really excited. It's from Juvia's Place and uh, this one in particular is called the Rebel Grays and I have been waiting for this palette. Um, you know, I did want to buy Jeffree Star's gray palette. I, I can't remember the name of it. But there were too many, there were too many shades of gray, and I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with all these. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love Jeffree Star, like love, and not like in love, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, when I saw this on Juvia's Place website, which by the way they were having a great sale, I don't know if there's, if everything is still on sale still. Um, check out their website. But I saw this, uh, and it's just a four pan little quad um, eyeshadow palette. And I thought, that's perfect. That's all I need. So, anyway, we're going to be doing this. Um, I'm going to be guiding you through every step of the way. Yeah, okay. So, uh, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is prep, prime our skin. Such an important part uh, because it'll really like help, you know, lay the foundation for a whole look. And I'm not talking about like just the foundation. I'm talking about the whole look, the, the foundation for. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not, like explaining this so much. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, so. Uh, what I like to do in the morning is just wash my face, put on my serums, put on my moisturizer. Um, that's about it. So next steps are to um, prime. And for primer, I've got this Laura Mercier trans <laughs> translucent powder. Yes. Um, no, I have this Laura Mercier pure canvas primer. And uh, this one's great. It's uh, illuminating. Excuse me. Um, what? What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, this one's illuminating, and they have others that are great, you know, kind of match your own skin tone. So, uh, this is from Sephora, and uh, I, I, yeah, I love it. I think Ulta has Laura Mercier as well. Um, I just was at um, Sephora when I bought this. Okay, okay. Oh. And now I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put some in my hand. Just a tad bit. Then uh, I'm gonna rub it, rub it down the face. You know what? I just shaved my head. Well, like buzzed it short um, this morning, so it might look a little <laughs> bald. <laughs> um, I don't mind it anymore. You know, like. Um, for years, I tried hiding my um, receding hairline, and uh, I just I couldn't do it. So it got so annoying. And then I was just like, you know, what? just cut it really short. That's what a lot of people do. So that's that's what I did. So anyway, um, yeah, that's my hair story. <laughs> um, next, it's time for some foundation. Um, for foundation, I really love this. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. It's so nice. Uh, so I'm gonna put some in my hand and I'm gonna apply this with the, uh, on my hand, sorry, on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna put some on a um, brush and then golden. Okay, so here we go. I put, I put three pumps on my hand. And uh, where's my, oh. And I have my brush right here. This is a Morphe uh, M6 brush, and uh, it's great. I love it. <sighs> um, okay, we're gonna just start stamping this. There we go. There is our um, foundation. <laughs> Yay! 
Okay, next we're gonna um, do our concealer. And uh, I like to get my mirror nice and close to me. Um, I got it. Well, old style, like circular mirror. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this on my under eye. So yeah, watch what I do. This is how I like to do my uh, concealer. So I got some there, and then we got some there. And we're gonna do the other side. Perfect. I mean, it's not perfect, but we're gonna blend it anyway, so. Who the heck cares? <laughs> Alright, um, so now I'm gonna blend this in with a concealer brush. This is a Morphe M173 brush. Alright. I've been switching it up and using that brush lately. Um, just because I, I find it works pretty well. Right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, it's time to do our brows, and uh, to do brows, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Gel and uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil. They fight, they fight, they fight. No, together these like really do me well. So uh, what I'll do is I'll do these off camera, and then I will return afterwards. Hi everyone, I'm back! Yes! <laughs> um, so I did my eyebrows, I think they look pretty. Snap shiny, yes! <laughs> um, and I also primed my eyes for eyeshadow, so I put down a base. I um, let me grab this stuff that I use for eye primer. This is um, P. Louise Base, and this is in Rumor. 0.5 semi-light um, it's not horribly light you can see like it's a little bit lighter than what I'm currently doing with the rest of my face but um, that's okay because it's gonna be covered up with eyeshadow anyway yes <laughs> okay so next it's time to do some bronzer and some blush, yes, I'm excited about this stuff, like I love this. Um, so why don't we do bronzer first. Uh, for bronzer today, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Cream Bronzer, it's called something else actually, it's called Beautiful Skin uh, Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. It's a bit of a, a mouthful, but hey, whatever. It's Charlotte Tilbury, they can do what the hell they want. Mm-hmm. I actually do love Charlotte Tilbury. Um, a lot of my products like are, and I try to like switch it up though. I don't want to do like all Charlotte Tilbury all the time. Like that would just be too much Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, why don't we use the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer, cream bronzer, and um, I bought this at the same time as uh, my NARS cream bronzer, my Laguna cream bronzer. It's they're great. I think they're very comparable. Um, so why don't we just grab a brush here. Um, oh, I get confused on where I have my brushes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, so uh, here's what it looks like. It's nice and creamy. Yes. Um, I am going to just tap my brush on it. And then uh, just go down and tap this cheekbone area. Yeah, that looks actually pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more because um, it's not quite the size of the... I'm going to tap this up here.
Alright, I really have to see the Okay, um Yeah. Yes, I'm loving the bronzer. It looks great. Um Okay, uh next it's time for the flash. <laughs> I already said that. Yeah. I'm feeling I'm feeling kooky. Feeling crazy. Crazy's coming out again. No. Don't worry. Anyway, um <laughs> I have this beautiful Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. It's gorgeous. This is pink, um, and the actual shade name is Happy, which is cute. Um, I use this now pretty often, and I really, really like it. So, why don't we start out by just putting a little bit on the face. Okay, I put two little dots. I'm gonna blend it out. Um, right, right, right. So why don't I just start with my finger? That looks pretty good, I have to say. I have to say. I have to say. Yeah, okay. Do we want more is the question. Um, How about this? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I might keep it like this uh, and then wait for after the eyeshadow is complete. Once that com is complete, then I wanna go in and uh, check it then. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, what do we do next? Eyeshadow. That's what's next. Uh, okay. Uh, so for eyeshadow again, we're using the uh, Juvia's Place um, Rebel Grays. I love it. I love this uh, palette. It's just gorgeous, and um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, did I already show you guys this? I think I did, but I'm also second guessing myself that I did. Anyway, um, I am going to be using um, probably all four of these shades. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's pretty light on when the light's um, shining on it. Um, I want to start with uh, this shade here. It's a light um, grayish silver color and then I want to follow up after that with uh, this dark uh, gray shade right here. Really pretty. Charcoal. Charcoal gray. Uh, and then work with the um, shimmer colors. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So why don't we uh, get started? Okay, I'm back and I'm ready for eyeshadow. Okay, so you probably noticed I got a little bit of power on my uh, under eyes. That's because I'm gonna try something out that was gonna be helpful the other day when I did. I don't know, what I'm trying to say is um, I did eyeshadow the other day and there's Fallout and um, it was one of these Juvia's Place um, shades and um, I don't want to do that again because it like it was it pretty much ruined the look because uh, there was just color down here. So anyway, we're not going to let that happen today, are we? Uh, we'll see how much it turns out. And, uh, okay, um, this is funny. Right, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, gray shade here, the light one. Put that in the crease. I, you know, you don't know, but this is bothering me. I really don't want to do baking. There we go, I can see better now. I can see my beautiful face. I'm 
almost thinking this because the this eyeshadow and the um, the primer are so so similar. I might need to get another shade um, just to have on hand for other possibilities in the future when this happening. It's really strange. It's like it looks like it's already been built up. Now, what I want to do is just take some words. I'm going to have to grab another palette though, so excuse me for getting in the way of the camera. Now, you know it's funny, I mentioned Jeffree Star at the beginning of the, of the um, video. Um, here's his blood sugar palette. Why am I showing you his blood sugar palette? Because in here, he has a beautiful shade of white called glucose. It's very pigmented. It's, it's beautiful. So here it is. And uh, I'm going to be using that. So there we go. I'm still using Jeffree Star for my um, gray palette. Right, I'm going to take the gray and just use that. Yes, okay. I think that looks pretty good. Just that, <clears throat> excuse me, just the, what I've done so far. Um, I need to do a lot more, still, still not done, but um, we're, we're getting there. Um, so why don't I dip into the darker gray, the charcoal, uh, and just go from there. I'm gonna take this charcoal gray on the outside corner of my eye. You know what, actually, I think it looks pretty good. I need to blend it, though. E36, I think. Yeah, it is. E36. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I was looking at my plants. Oh, I never like talk about my plants. I am a huge houseplant lover. Um, I have them all throughout my apartment. Um, at one point, I had 200 plants. <laughs> um, recently, I downsized, so. Uh, I don't have that many, but you can see the plants behind me. The ones behind me, I love this. I love this wall and the shelves on it. Like tr the plants trail down, like they hang down. This is gorgeous. I, I love it. So there's my little plant story. If you guys are wondering, like, if you're a plant person, please like let me know. I'd love to talk to you because I love talking about plants with people. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I need to uh, color in this bottom lash and um, I think I'm going to do it with a dark shade uh, just because the hard, other one's kind of hard to, um, to see initially. So here we go with the dark shade. I'm holding too many things. There we go. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Wow, okay. It's almost finished, almost finished. Okay. 
Um, what we want to do now is use the Morphe M167 brush. Um, right. What is it? Oh, right here in my hand. Okay. So. One second. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it. So I'm gonna take this and um, I am gonna be using the shimmer shades. Um, what I would like to do is kind of start out with the darker of the two shades. Do that uh, kind of as like the base um, and then use the other sh uh, shimmer, the lighter one, to kind of just highlight the whole thing. In fact, I might use a highlighter on this. See, okay. So here we go. Okay, just a little bit more. Yes. Okay. Alright, uh, next I'm going to dip into the um, ladder shimmer shade with my finger, my, my index finger. Shimmer down below my eyes. Oh, well, what can I do? There we go. I mean, besides, uh, oops. <laughs> besides um, mascara and uh, lashes, there's really nothing else that we're gonna be doing here. Um, I think this looks really good. I, I love it to be to be honest. Um, should I? I have a, 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 a an idea to put a little bit of uh, liquid highlighter on the um, lid here. Okay, I'm gonna like mix it in here. All right, I did it. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So, um, the next steps are to um, take this whole look and then recreate it on this side. Uh, once I have that done, I will come back and uh, we will kiki, no, we, have, we can't kiki yet because uh, we still have to do the, you know, other things like mascara, lashes, um, you know, all that good stuff, plus the highlighter and the lips. Uh, so there's a lot, a little left. So anyway, okay, I'm back, back, back again. And uh, I did the, both eyes, uh, did this look over here. Um, you guys have to, uh, <laughs> I have to know something that um, my eyes are not like the same size and measurements from like brow to lid to all that. This one is much bigger. I have more space right here to put eyeshadow and this one I don't have that space. So uh, it's, um, yeah, it is what it is. So I thought I'd just say that. So it's kind of funny though. To be honest, um, knocking stuff over. So I really like, I really like what I've done. This this look is really cool. Um, it's smoked out down here, um, kind of like on the sides here. I think it looks really cool. Um, I, I kind of wanted it that way. In fact, I did want it that way. So I'm liking it. All right. So next steps. Um, I need to uh, put some. 
mascara on. You know, first, I need to curl, up, uh, curl my lashes, and then put some mascara on. And then after that, put some lashes on. And I have some lashes. I'm just deciding which. Sorry, in my head, like which ones to use. All right. Um. So I'm gonna do all of that, and then after that, I shall return. All right, I'm back. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back and I um, am loving it. Loving the look. It looks so cute. Um, sorry, I just pop out my fan when I'm like, I need reassurance to make sure I'm okay. Like, oh my god, what if something's off and I have a flaw? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I did the mascara, which you can't even really see. I don't even know why I do mascara. I guess it like uh, grips the false lashes a little bit better. Um, but um, yeah, I also put on the false lashes. That's what I'm just saying. Um, they look cute. Which ones did I wear? Um, oh, I don't know. Allure. Uh, these are Allure London Dramatic 3D Lashes. These are nice. I got these at Target for like seven dollars. Um, yeah, definitely worth seven bucks. Um, you can use them five times. Hey, that's pretty good. Because um, like, do we need lashes every time for any ones? No. Um, oh my gosh, I love this look. Just playing with my lashes. <laughs> they're cute. Oh my god, they're like a little pet. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm totally kidding. <clears throat> okay, so now that our eyes are complete, um, we need to do uh, highlighter and uh, lips. That's uh, that's pretty much it. So um, for highlighter. Stuff's falling all over the place. Um, for highlighter, um, go. Um, I had a liquid kilowatt Fenty highlighter. Um, okay, I found it. Yes, this is the uh, highlighter, uh, the liquid highlighter from Fenty Beauty. This one, what kind of shade is this? Um, can't remember. It's I think it's champagne. Um, but yeah. So, I'm excited. Why don't we um, first, this is what I like to do sometimes, is put down a highlighter, a liquid highlighter, and then on top of that, I like to put on a powder highlighter. So, let's do that. You don't need much when we're using liquid, so just a small amount. Yeah, ooh, okay. Why don't we grab the highlighter, the powder highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, love it, love it. So we're gonna grab this and just, you know, use your favorite shade. So, I've got my highlighter brush here and I'm gonna just go over. This is my highlighter. Now, we are glowing. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, look at this. Just, yeah. It looks so good, I love it. So, it, this whole look is just kind of like turning into like something that's over the top. Um, like, it really is. Um, wow. It looks good, it looks really good. So the only thing left is uh, the lip, and uh, for that, I haven't decided yet what I want to use, um, but here I'm going to kind of move things out of the way. So I'm definitely going to be using a um, um, Jeffree Star lipstick. Liquid lipstick. Um, I don't know if I'll that one. What about blue, you guys? 
Yeah, I don't. That'd be definitely over the top for sure. Um, hmm, I might consider doing that one. <laughs> We've got a pink bubblegum pink, I would say. Call it. Um, I'm not sure about that one. Got a nude here, just kind of a, a normal nude. I like that one. It's actually my one of my favorite shades. We've got uh, one here, which is kind of a pinkish nude, and um, so I like both of those. I have one here, which is kind of a um, lavender, purplish color. I'm not really sure about that. Hmm, I don't know. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I got three colors here that I need to choose from. So, I, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with this um, neutral nude here. Yeah, it's called Mannequin, and uh, it's really cute. I, I think it's, it's it's good for the rest of the face is like kind of out of this world, me like just over the top. And um, this is kind of just more subtle. So why don't we use this? Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry, because it'll dry into a mat. And um, then I wanna use some lip Um I wanna use two. One is a NYX, this is Juice Gloss. This is watermelon flavored. Mm. Um, the next one is called Filler Instinct, as in, you know, you get fillers, um, I don't. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a plumping lip gloss, this has a kind of pink shimmery shade to it, I think we're gonna use those. Okay, the lips are dry, I'm gonna use this, this is Juice Gloss, here we go. Okay, ooh, that is juicy. Juicy, honey, yeah. Oh man, so funny. So good. Okay, now the filler instinct. Okay, ooh, there's the uh, little tingle and burn. Wow. I'm loving this look. I now that it's complete, and it is complete now. Um, what do we do? Do we have a celebration? Like, uh, you guys, I'm so happy that you were here to watch me and uh, follow along on this tutorial. It's really cool. The, the look itself is, is awesome. Um, I always get giddy, like, very giddy when, um, I do looks like these that are slightly off center, uh, irregular, um, silver, gray. It's not not common. So, um, yeah, I, I'm really really pleased. I'm really glad that we went with the um, the nude lip choice. I think that looks it looks really good. Okay, um, love it. I'm loving it. Um, what else can I say? I don't know. Should I say anything more? Alright guys, this is the end of the look. Um, if you liked it, uh, please give it a thumbs up down below. Like it, please. Um, so, so, um, you're making me so happy. So, um, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, and the notification bell right next to it. Then you'll get notified when my content is e available and uh, ready to watch. Yes, that's what we want, right? So anyway, uh, love you guys and um, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.